Welcome to The Review. My name is Kevin McGowan. Behind the camera is Steve Fouchard. Hello! And today we are sitting in the beautiful Zayfods, speaking with Shannon Rose. Hi, Shannon. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm awesome. Thanks a lot for, uh, for joining us today in, in this new venture that we're trying out. I'm happy to. Uh, of course, I've, I'm just actually kind of happy to be here because I've, I've been a big fan of yours for a couple of years. Ever since I first heard, I remember, uh, I, and I told you this story before, when I played a song of yours for a, a screaming infant <laughs> yes. in my house, my son, who was about three months old at the time, and I played the song for him, so I was just trying anything to get him to calm down. And one of your songs did the trick. So there's, if that says something, I should. Um, you've been very busy the last couple of years. In yep. 2008, you put out your first record. I did. And over the course of 2011, you've released four EPs, one for each season. And I'm curious about not only your inspiration for doing the four EPs, but you also re-released them as a double CD called Season. So I'm curious what, uh, how that progress or how that evolved in your head. Well, after the first album, I took a break and I was just writing for about a year. And uh, then I had a bunch of songs and I was thinking um, of a way to put them together. So mm -hmm. are we going to do an album? We were just kind of brainstorming what the plan was going to be. And um, I started to notice that the songs I've been writing um, seem to have, you know, sometimes seasonal undertones. Right. Maybe, you know, I'd be mentioning snow in a song or something. And, um, the idea just kind of occurred to me, like, if we tried to record, write, record, and release an album in each season, um, I was curious to see if it would take on the qualities of the season in any right. way. Uh, so we just decided to do it with all four seasons. And how did you go about, or what inspired you, I guess, to, to re-release it as a, a two-CD set as opposed to the four, the four EPs? How did that happen? Uh, well, partly because I wanted to make sure people had the whole thing. Okay. Because yeah. people at shows, you know, might buy one or two, or and right. then they'd be asking me, which one should I buy? I'm like, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of so for that reason, I thought, you know, it, it belonged together. It really was one project. Right. So uh, it just seemed wrong to have them all separated they should be brought together plus logistically like we every time we'd run out of um a pressing of eps mm -hmm. we'd have to redo one and it was always like staggering numbers right this right. is much easier okay. and even just bringing it to shows and promoting it and everything it's easier to have it in one package okay. that makes a lot of sense yeah. i know you did uh you did a, a crowdfunding campaign too and you're putting the, the double cd together yep. uh and i know you were kind of Offering, you know, certain I think even private shows for some people who if they contributed a certain amount house concerts. Yeah, how, how, how did you, <laughs> how did you, find that whole process of, of crowdfunding the project? Uh, it was really great because you realize that people are really supporting you and mm -hmm. people are kind of rallying behind you. At first, when you set it up and you set your target and uh, you're kind of asking people. Um, to help you, you're a bit nervous. You know, maybe no one will help you, and you'll end up with five dollars. <laughs> and it's still zero. <laughs> yeah, um, and there, there's an option actually. Whenever you're setting up, um, at least on Indiegogo, um, there's an option to either make it like you keep the money mm -hmm. um, if you don't reach your goal, and or you refund it. Oh, okay. And uh, we just decided we would. Uh, keep it, make it happen somehow. Mm -hmm. And even if we could only press, like if only five people ordered, we'd mm -hmm. find a way to press five and give right. those people five yeah. for supporting. So, right. um, but it was great. It was a great experience and it was a lot of fun. And uh, I don't think I'd want to do it like all the time. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, just because I don't want to ask people. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it takes a lot for. That's true. Uh, I've also read that you are, uh, you're deadline driven. Yep. Uh, that you that part of that I think the whole four EPs thing was that because you wanted to set yourself a challenge. That's true. Uh, is that uh, is that how you approach and the creation of your music? Uh, it's not how I approach the creation of my music. Uh, maybe the release of the okay. music. Okay. Okay. Because the creation is ongoing, mm -hmm. it never stops, and there's right. no deadlines, and it's just um, I don't try to race through. Well, maybe I do. Actually, like do, you, like do you say when you're writing a song, I, I mean, 
probably don't say they, I have to have this done by Tuesday at four o'clock. But um, mm -hmm. is there is there a goal in mind to release it by a certain time, or is there no goal to release it by a certain time? Because most of the songs probably will never get released. Oh. Um, but uh, I usually write in one sitting, mm -hmm. so it's not really a deadline. It's just how I like to, to work. Right, right. Um, I like to capture that the thought and whatever inspiration comes in that moment, I like to capture it in one sitting okay. or at least in, you know, for a couple of hours, I might take a tea break or something. <laughs> That's it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, well, let's uh, get you playing one of your songs. And we're going to okay. play uh, wild wind. Yes. And that's from the spring EP. Yep. And uh, husband Steve is going to be joining us on guitar. Yes, he is. Excellent. Here's Shannon Rose and wild wind. <laughs> 